Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fonten. I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in all three formats. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications, and thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, romance, twin flame, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. <laughs> Get your DM to chase you, twin flame. <laughs> this is the twin flame questions answered topic for today. In case you're new to the concept of twin flames, in case you're new to the jargon of twin flames, you might be asking, what is a DM? DM stands for divine masculine. If you want to learn more, check out my channel. You can join my boot camps below on this topic and more. This is just a brief overview of how to get your DM to chase you, Divine Feminine. And there are five things you can do today to reverse that energy and get your DM to chase you. Number one, stop chasing. I know this may seem kind of evident. You're like, duh, of course. I know that already, <laughs> but how many twin flame divine feminines do I coach per week who are still in this chasing mode? <laughs> the divine feminines that are out there that are still chasing, you might be chasing physically. For example, you're like, oh, it's his birthday this week. I think I'll just reach out to him and say happy birthday. Or you're like, oh, I hear our song. And now I hear a song. I think I just need to send my divine masculine this song. It's just a reminder of us and that good time that we had that one time. That is chasing. <laughs> that is chasing physically. Or if you are driving by their house, chasing physically. If you're reaching out to them first, most of the time, chasing physically. Now you can also chase your divine masculine energetically. <laughs> Since twin flames are interwoven, interconnected, you guys share the same soul. You can also be in chasing mode on a more ethereal level, spiritual level. And you can certainly learn more about that in the Twin Flame Divine Feminine Boot Camp number one that you could register for below. But we go in depth on the reasons why as Divine Feminines, we have a tendency to chase more and how to recalibrate that energy so that it starts to reverse and your Divine Masculine starts to chase you. But if you find that you are taking action in the 3D physical world in any way, and your divine masculine has begun to pull away or ghost you or even block you and you're still chasing, it's time to stop the chasing. Number two, play ping pong. You might be wondering now, what, what in the world are you talking about, Michelle? <laughs> back in 2013, when I was back in the dating game after a long-term relationship and a terrible breakup, I joined some dating sites. Now this was way before dating apps were prevalent, so it was dating sites that you went on. And there was one dating site in particular, I believe it was eHarmony, but they had all these tutorials on how to date. And me not having dated a lot in my life, I had been in a lot of relationships, but not really dating, I had to learn how to date. And one of the recommendations was this exactly. I don't think they put it in the way that I'm putting it to play ping pong, but if you have ever played ping pong, you know that there is one ball, two paddles, two people typically when you're playing ping pong. And the concept of the game is you hit the ball, they hit the ball. You hit the ball, they hit the ball. If the ball falls on their side, they are picking up the ball and they are hitting it back to you. So on and so forth. You can't keep hitting the ball when there is no ball to hit because if that ball isn't back on your side of the ping pong table, there's no way you could hit that ball. What do I mean when I say play ping pong? What I mean is if you are still in contact with your divine masculine, play 
ping pong, meaning they reach out, you reach out, you reach out, they reach out. Do not reach out until they reach back. <laughs> and this was recommended on a dating site. This is not my stuff. This was recommended. And it basically said when you're on a dating app, when you're on these dating sites, if somebody emails you, you email back and you wait for a response. <laughs> it's not about just keeping reaching, 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 reaching. That's back into chasing mode. So a good rule of thumb is that if your divine masculine texts you or comments on something on social media, then you text back and you wait for a response. If your divine masculine calls you and you miss the call, you call back. If you pick up the call, you've already had your conversation. The ball is back in their court. <laughs> so you wait for them to reach out. This creates an equilibrium. This creates a balance in energy. And I understand the intensity of the twin flame connection. I understand the intensity of the love that you feel. I understand the obsession and even the desperation. Believe me, I am a Sagittarius with Cancer rising, which is a water sign. And I also have my Venus in Scorpio, another water sign. I happen to be a very emotional person. So I understand how emotional this journey is. But rest assured, I made the mistake in the very beginning not to play ping pong with the texting, with the reaching back and forth, and I got myself into a lot of trouble with my twin flame as a result. Number three, to that end, mirror messages. That's right, I said mirror messages. If your DM reaches out to you and says, hey, how are you? You respond, hey, I'm good, how are you? This is not a time, especially in the beginnings of this twin flame journey and or in the event that your DM has been a little spooked and has started to pull away from you, but now they are reaching out to you to kind of test the waters or they have started to pull back, but they still want to keep contact with you. Here is the game. The name of the game is mirror. The name of the game is they give a little, you give a little. They give a little more, you give a little more. And this is not playing a game. It's to not overwhelm them with the intensity of your emotions that you have been feeling because that is not fair to them. And it's not fair to any person. It doesn't matter if it's a twin flame or just a person you happen to be dating. But mirroring helps to enhance the conversation and it also helps to understand where they might be coming from as far as how much they are willing to give at that particular moment. So in addition to playing ping pong, you are going to mirror. And in fact, mirroring makes people feel comfortable. So if your DM reaches out to you and says, hey, how are you? And you respond back with, oh my God, you wouldn't believe the day that I have. And then you begin to write an entire book on the entire day that you had. That's just giving a little too much than the initial question that they were asking for. It creates overwhelm. It creates that push energy. And it's not testing to see where they are at or where they are coming from. It is perfectly acceptable to answer a question that they have asked you and respond with another question. That is perfectly acceptable, but keep it to a minimum. For example, in this mirroring exercise, if they text you five words, text them five words. If they text you 10 words, maximum 10 words. If they are writing with emojis, then you write with emojis. We are creating balance again, just to see where DM is at on their particular journey. It's smart, it keeps things balanced, and it helps you not to chase, and it gets them to start to chase you. Now lastly about the mirroring exercise, always end a texting conversation on the up and up. So as you're mirroring, let, let them hang a little bit. So what that means is that 
If you have been asking all the questions and they're just simply answering, that's gonna create imbalance. But if they have asked a question and you just answer and you're about to end the conversation, don't ask another question. Just answer, leave it at that and see what they do. What you want to do is start to pull back your energy a little bit so that they are compelled to move forward toward you. Number four, stop stalking their social media or if you live in close proximity, stop stalking them. In fact, I believe it's a really good idea when you are in a twin flame connection or any kind of soul connection that is a very strong, intense connection, I believe it's a good idea just to stop following them on social media altogether. It's a deeply emotional time in your life and you know as a twin flame you're going through a lot. You may be experiencing the dark night of the soul. You might be experiencing a lot of tears and crying when you even see their name, which was the case for me. I couldn't even look at my twins name without bursting into tears at some point. And that lasted for several months. So if you refrain from looking at their social media, if you refrain from commenting on their social media, if you refrain from looking at their pictures on social media, it will help you a lot more to stay in your energy and to not have that push energy. Believe me, I hear this day in and day out during my personal reading and coaching sessions with clients. I hear, Hey, I looked at my DMS, the social media, and he was in this picture with this woman. And I went off the rails. I didn't know if he was dating her. I don't know what the deal is. What do you think the deal is? And I'm like, I don't know. As a psychic, as someone who does readings, I'm not allowed to peer into somebody else's life. I can certainly look at a connection that is involved with you, but I can't just go and look at other people's lives, even psychically. In the end, you don't know what they're posting on social media. You don't know the nature of the people or the relationships necessarily that they're in. And it's just best to refrain from looking at it. Furthermore, if you're giving a thumbs up and liking and putting little heart emojis on all of their posts, rest assured that is chasing energy. In addition to that, I don't know how you can do this on social media. I know I get a lot of clients who tell me that they can do this, but I believe on certain social media platforms, you can see who is looking at your posts or who is looking at your profile. I don't know how to do that, but if your DM understands how to see who is checking out their profile, then rest assured, if you are looking at their profile, they can see it and they know you're there. They can tell you're chasing. And it's best if you just refrain from that if you wanna pull back that energy in order to get your DM to chase you. Number five, get fully involved in your own life. Again, I feel like this is a no brainer, but believe me, I had trouble with this particular one. We talk a lot more about this in the boot camps that you can register for below. It's easy to get obsessed with your DM. It's easy to get obsessed with the twin flame journey. It's easy to kind of put your life on hold because you're kind of watching and waiting to see how this twin flame journey is gonna unfold, how your DM is gonna come to you, what you guys are gonna do together, how you're gonna flourish and grow and build this beautiful relationship and you can get lost in the fantasy of it all. And as a result, you can forget to live your own life. You can forget to go out with friends, perhaps date other people if that's appropriate for you. And again, that is not a hard line. It depends on each situation. Um, forgetting to pay attention to your job and pay your bills and create wealth in your life, to pay attention to your kids. So, so many of us get so wrapped up in this journey that we forget to live our lives. But I'm gonna give you some perspective on this that might help you. Once you are in reunion with your twin flame, you're still gonna have to live your life. Your twin flame is gonna have their own life and you need to have your own life. Yes, certainly you are going to have a life with your twin flame, but every healthy couple has a life outside of their primary romantic relationship. That is healthy. 
healthy. So you need to have your own friendships and good friendships at that. You need to have your own hobbies and activities. You need to have your own material wealth so that you're not totally dependent on your twin flame and so that you're bringing something to the table. If you are completely ignoring your entire life because you're so obsessed with your DM and you're so obsessed with your twin flame journey, then rest assured, even if your DM was to come to you today, you would be a total mess. Your DM can actually feel it if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not taking care of your own life. And the pressure that they feel is from the pressure that you are putting on the expectations of their next move, the expectations of them coming back to you. Try as hard as you can whenever you become obsessed with your DM, go do something else that's gonna enhance your own life. Call a friend, go out with a friend, balance your checkbook, declutter your house, whatever it is, but find something that is going to enhance and improve your own life so that you are a whole person when your DM is ready to come back to you and rest assured, if you're happy, healthy, and whole, your DM is more bound to chase you than you having to chase them. So I hope this was helpful. Again, you can get so much more in detail once you join the Twin Flame Divine Feminine Boot Camps number one and number two. But if you do just these five things today, starting today, if you do just these five things, I can assure you that you are going to start to turn the tide to get your DM to chase you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell scroll to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you so much for supporting this channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can also pledge your support on Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fondon. And I will see you in the next video.